In this video, I will show you software for Ubuntu Remote Desktop Access that provides graphical desktop experience that is indistinguishable from a local desktop session. It works in Linux, Windows, Mac OS, and even a web browser. Basically, you can access your Linux desktop from any device that has internet connection. This program is called ThinLink, and I think it is the best Linux remote desktop software. It beats all other Linux remote desktop software by its image quality and responsiveness. Moreover, ThinLink also redirects sound from a remote computer. It also provides web access to remote desktop. These two features are not available in any other Linux remote desktop software, as far as I know. ThinLink is easy to install and simple to configure. It is roughly 80% open source. The remaining 20% of the code are comprising proprietary code for administrating, licensing and automation. ThinLink is free for up to 10 concurrent users. ThinLink sponsored this video and I hope after watching it you would agree that ThinLink is a great piece of software. Let me show you. Download the ThinLink server software from the Sendio website. The link is provided in the description. Next, navigate to the folder with a downloaded file and extract the archive. Enter the extracted folder and launch the graphical installer from the terminal. Follow the instructions and install ThinLink. The installer is simple and fully automatic. After the installation, you will be offered to launch the ThinLink server setup wizard. You can proceed with that option, or you can go to the Ubuntu menu and launch it from here. This wizard will guide you through the main steps. In the server type select master, as we are going to install it on one computer and not on the server infrastructure. It will detect and install all the necessary dependencies. You can provide your email to receive administrative messages. You also need to type the password for administration of this program. If you are going to use printers, you can also configure them for remote access. Then you can also configure your firewall and install AppArmor configuration to work correctly for remote access. At the end, it will launch the ThinLink server program that will run in the background. Now, ThinLink server has been set up. The last thing we need to do on the remote computer is to find out its IP address that we will use to connect to it. It can be found using this command. You can also find it in the graphical network settings of Ubuntu. Here it is. Note, this is your private IP address, and to access this computer, you need to be in the same local network, in other words, connected to the same router. I recommend to do all the configuration and test in the local network, and then configure the access from the outside. For outside access, you need to configure your router accordingly. I showed how to do it in my previous video, the link is in the description. After you have configured the remote desktop, you need to switch to the client computer. It can be Linux, Windows or Mac OS. I will use my KDE Neon, a Linux distro that is based on Ubuntu and uses Plasma 5 desktop. It is my laptop. ThinLink provides several options to establish remote connection. SSH for a terminal, web browser access to a graphical desktop, and ThinLink client software with full desktop functionality. We will test these connections in the same order as the complexity of these connections increases. The SSH connection is the simplest to test because it is a command line tool. Just run this command on your client computer where LU is my username in the remote Ubuntu and this is the IP address of my remote computer, which we retrieved in the previous step. If SSH warns you that the message are you sure you want to continue connecting, type yes and proceed with entering password. And log in to your remote Ubuntu. So as you can see, now I am connected to my remote Ubuntu computer through the SSH connection. When you know that SSH remote access works, you can test graphical access with your web browser. In the browser address field, enter the IP address of your remote machine with the port 300. You should be welcomed with this login screen. 
Use your remote username and password to log in. You can click OK here and you will see your Ubuntu remote desktop right in your browser. This Ubuntu remote desktop access works smoothly as if you were using it sitting in front of that computer. The only limitation of the web access is there is no sound redirection. And it may be slower in performance with low bandwidth connection. If Finlink fails to establish a graphical connection with the remote desktop, make sure you are logged out from your remote Ubuntu desktop. Because you cannot have two graphical desktop sessions open at the same time. If you forget to do that, you can log in with the SSH and kill your open desktop session with this command. After that, you should be able to connect remotely with the web browser. To get all features of ThinLink Remote Desktop Access, including sound redirection and optimized performance for low bandwidth connection, you need to use ThinLink client software. It is available for Linux, macOS and Windows. I use KDE Neon as my client computer, it is based on Ubuntu, so I download the dev package. Go to the downloads folder and install it through a terminal. After the installation, it is available in the menu. This is how it looks. Enter your remote IP, username and password. You may also activate the option End Existing Session in case you forget to log out in your remote desktop. This option will close that open graphical session and you do not need to use SSH to kill it, as I have just shown you for the web access. Click Connect. You can click OK here. And you will get your Ubuntu remote desktop inside the ThinLink client window. Play around inside this remote desktop and test its performance. For example, you can test how well ThinLink redirects sounds. These are 15 essential things to do after installing Ubuntu 2204 Jammy Jellyfish. Everything works perfectly. I highly recommend you using more secure authentication methods than just a username password. Finlink supports several more secure authentication methods, such as legible authentication modules, public key authentication, smart card public key authentication, and one-time passwords. I think the one-time password authentication is the best option here, because it is highly secure and it is easy to configure. I show how to set up it in the blog post accompanying this video. There is also information on how to configure your router for remote access. The link is in the description. Although ThinLink is a great desktop software, it shines in providing access to desktop interfaces in the server-based computer infrastructure. It is much more powerful than I showed it in this video. ThinLink can make many remote servers work together with redundancy, load balance and high availability for multi-user remote access. So if you manage a server infrastructure, I encourage you to test ThinLink. It is free for up to 10 concurrent users and it is reasonably priced if you need more users. I will also make a video comparing different remote desktop access software including the built-in Ubuntu remote desktop. Subscribe and activate the bell notification so you won't miss that video. Thank you for watching.